Open a Word document that you need, or create a new one. Go to Insert tab at the top tools bar. Click on Pictures. You will see two options, this device and online pictures. Let's begin with this device. Click on it. A new window will open. Choose the image that you want. Click on Insert. The image will appear in the document. Now, we will show you how to insert an online image. Go to Insert tab at the top tools bar. Click on Pictures. Choose Online Pictures from the list. A new window will open. You can see that the images are sorted into groups, so it is easier for you to find what you need. You can either click on a group and choose an image, or you can use the search bar. Go to the search bar and type the keyword for your image. Go through the search results and choose the image that you want. Select the image that you need and click on Insert. You can also click on the group that you need. Look through the results and choose the image that you want. Click on Insert. Let's format the pictures. Click on the image to select it. Go to Format tab at the top tools bar. Let's begin with corrections. Click on it at the top tools bar. You will see a list of correction filters. They're divided into two groups, Sharpen, Soften filters, and Brighten, Contrast filters. When you hover over the filter, you can see the preview on the image you have in the document. Click on the filter that you need to apply it to the picture. Next up is Color. Click on it at the top tools bar. You will see a list of color filters. They're divided into three groups, Color Saturation, Color Tone, and Recolor filters. The names are self-explanatory. When you hover over the filter, you can see the preview on the image you have in the document. Click on the filter that you need to apply it to the picture. Let's move on to the next tool, Artistic Effects. Click on it at the top tools bar. You will see a list of artistic filters. When you hover over the filter, you can see the preview on the image you have in the document. Click on the filter that you need to apply it to the picture. Next up is a list of different tools. Compress Pictures is used to, you guessed it, compress the image. If you click on Change Picture, you will see a list of options. You can find a new image on your device, online, or use icons and replace the picture you have right now. Reset Picture will help you reset the picture to the original or reset its size. Let's move on to Picture Styles block on the Tools bar. Click on the arrow icon to see the dropout list with different picture styles. You can see the image can have different shapes and borders. Click on the style that you want to apply it. You can also use Picture Border, Picture Effects, and Picture Layout tools to create your own style. Click on Picture Border. Choose the color of the border from the list. Go to Weight and choose the weight of the border. Go to Dashes in the list and choose the dash style of the border. Click on Picture Effects. You will see seven groups with different effects. Preset, Shadow, Reflection, Glow, Soft Edges, Bevel, and 3D Rotation. The names are self-explanatory. Go to the group that you need. You will see a list of available options. Click on the one that you need to apply it. When you hover over the filter, you can see the preview on the image you have in the document. Next up is Picture Layout. Click on it at the top tools bar. You will see different layout options for the image. It can help you create a layout for images and text. When you hover over the style, you can see the preview on the image you have in the document. Click on the layout style that you need to apply it to the picture. You can also change the position of the image. Click on Position tool at the top tools bar. You have two groups, inline with text and with text wrapping. When you hover over the style, you can see the preview on the image you have in the document. Click on the position style that you need to apply it to the image. The next tool we will talk about is Wrap Text. Click on it at the top tools bar. You will see a list of options. Inline with text, square, tight, through, top and bottom, behind text, in front of text, and so on. When you hover over the style, you can see the preview on the image you have in the document. Click on the wrap style that you need to apply it to the image. You can also rotate the image in the document. Click on Rotate Tool at the top tools bar. You will see a list of options. Rotate Right 90, Rotate Left 90, Flip Vertical, Flip Horizontal, and more rotation options. Click on the option that you need to apply it. If you want to use more advanced options, choose More Rotation Options from the list. A new window will open. You can change the height and the width. 
go to Rotate Block to set the rotation angle. Click OK once you're done. Next up is Crop Tool. Click on it at the top tools bar. You will see a list of options. Crop, Crop to Shape, Aspect Ratio, Fill, and Fit. You can see that the online image has only one option available. Click on Crop to Shape. You will see a list of shapes. Click on the shape that you need to crop the image. Let's go back to the image from the device. You can also adjust height and width of the image. Go to Size Block at the Format tab. Look for Height and Width options. Click on the arrows to increase or decrease the size of the image. 